Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're back here today with another challenge video. This one has a gift attached to it. So, if you want a chance to win that gift, there's going to be a special word that's going to pop up on the screen and I'm going to say it one time in my video and when I do, comment down in the comment section below with that word to be entered in for a chance. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. All right, here we go with DIY number one. Now this one, I got this little gnome from Hobby Lobby. He had a little fall leaf in his hands and I wanted to use him at Christmas because I love the colors of him. So I took and glued one of those little snowflakes from the Dollar Tree on the front of it and he is so adorable. Today's challenge is known for the holidays. It's hosted by Shawnee Glitz, Stitches, Home DIY, and Connie's Creative Creations. There's also a whole list, a playlist in the description box below with all the other ladies that are participating in it. Go check out that description box and check out the playlist because you don't want to miss these awesome crafts. Okay, there is going to be a gift away given away during this video. You have to listen for the special secret word. And once you hear that, then you're going to want to comment that below in order to be entered into the uh, gift away. So listen out for that word. And here we go with DIY number two. Okay, this DIY is pretty easy. I got this napkin from Walmart. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to uh, decoupage it on to my little sign there and my sign has a picture on the other side already so this will make it double sided and so what we're going to do yeah I'm saying and a lot okay so let me stop that. So what I'm going to do is set up my little uh, block there so that I could put this on and I'm putting Mod Podge down and then I'm going to take and put down a part of it at the top and then I'm going to put some more Mod Podge down and I know a lot of y'all use uh, saran wrap or something like that to smooth this out but mine seemed to go on pretty good without it um, and then I'm going to put Mod Podge over the top of it. And that will be it for this project. I'm not going to put a bow on it because the other side of the sign is different from this side. Now here we go with DIY number three. Now this one, there was a known video I did a little while back. And I took a fork and a spoon. And in that video we were challenged to use kitchen items to make this. And I had started this, but I didn't get to finish it for the that video. So I'm going to do it for this one. So I took the tops of the fork and the spoon off and I glued it to the spoon uh, like you see here. And it is glued on with E6000 glue. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create his little hat and his little beard and put his little nose on and this is going to turn out so cute. To make his little beard I got some of those mop pieces and I took and um, unraveled them so that they would be a little thin strips and I'm going to go all the way along this little edge here and I'm going to make his little beard and then we're going to trim it up and glue it down. Now I don't worry about trying to get it all straight on there because when I trim it like this then it's going to be right where it needs to be. And then I'm going to glue that down right there at up against the ends of the spoons and fork. Now before I got started doing that I decided that I was going to go ahead and make his little band around his hat. Now the piece of this is of the spoon is going to be the part that goes up. Now I didn't want to put the traditional white because I wanted to add some color in there. So I'm going to fold this little piece and that's just a piece of that scarf that you can get from the Dollar Tree and I am gluing it down to so that it doesn't unravel or fray. 
I was trying to find something the right size for his little nose and I got these at the Dollar Tree back when they first came out. Um, didn't know what I was going to use them for but I figured I wouldn't be able to find them again so I went ahead and picked them up back then. Now what I'm going to do is I'm looking for my little uh, snips. I'm going to snip off the end and I, that is going to be my little nose for this guy and I'm making sure that everything fits before I go and glue everything down. Now I'm going to take E6000 and I'm going to put that down. You could put some hot glue on this at the same time like I am and then I'm going to stick that down and that should stay right there in place. Now I'm going to glue down the little band for his hat and I'm going to just use hot glue on this and put it in place and then I'm going to add his little beard. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim up his little beard so that it's not all scraggly looking and make him all handsome. And then I am going to take a cotton ball and glue it to, oh no, I'm going to make his little mustache first. Um, Kate, if you're watching this, this video, this one was supposed to go in the video I did with you. And here it is. Now the next thing I did is I took a cotton ball and I'm going to glue it down to the top of this uh, little hat so that he has the little ball up there at the top and isn't he adorable now the next thing we're going to do is add embellishment to his little hat and we will see this at the final reveal all right here we go with diy number four now we're going to have two little gnomes that are wooden ones that we got from the dollar tree and we are going to start painting them now i'm going to start with the little girl first and we're going to take pink and white and paint her nose. I started painting it and I painted it the wrong color. So I'm having to go back over it and fix it. And if you make mistakes like that, it's just that easy to fix it. Just paint over it again. <laughs> now I'm going to start painting her little dress on her. Now I'm taking pink and red. Now red is going to be my outside color. Sorry I don't have all of this in the frame. I thought I did. Um, but I'm double loading my brush with pink and red and as you see I'm just going through and I'm making sure that red is butted up against all of the other pieces and then I'm going to start blending the rest of her dress until I get it all filled in and painted. Now for the rest of this I went through and did the same thing for her hair just used brown and white. I used green and light green for her hat and I did pink and white on her shoes and I double loaded the brush in all of these little things that I did. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make her little band on her hat. Now I'm going to take that raw edge of this shop towel and that's what's going to go down first and then I'm going to flip it up and I'm going to make sure it's pulled down to the top of her nose and then we'll glue this all the way around on the front and the back. Now once I get that glued down I'm going to come back in with my posh, posh paint markers and I'm going to start outlining every little thing on her so that it makes all of this pop out and I'll put a little shine on her nose and on her shoes but I will go through and doodle all this up and it will look so, so adorable. Now I go through and do all the doodling. You want to make sure your paint is dry when you start this part. And you don't have to be perfect with it. Just do, just do you. And that's what makes it your project. And I'll put a little embellishment in her hat and a little snowball on the end of her hat. Now here's our little guy. We're going to paint his shoes with some brown and white. We're going to go and touch up his little nose. Now if you want to see how to paint his beard, there's another video that I've done this in with uh, painting the beard in like that. And I always, generally when I paint, I use two colors on my brush at the same time because it just makes it faster for blending stuff. Now I'm going to go take and add the little uh, hat 
to or the little rim to his hat on and then I am going to take and embellish his hat Now, after I finish that, then I'm going to come back in and highlight his little beard by using my white, white posh paint marker. And I'll go in here and put some little white marks in, then I'll come back in with my black, and I'll do the outlining for that, and I'll put a little shine on his shoes, and put a little black in his beard. And then I will trim out his hat before I put the little cotton ball on the top, and put the embellishments on them. You want to add some shine to his shoes and shine to his nose. Don't forget those parts. And then we'll see this at the final reveal. Okay, today's challenge is a gift away challenge and you have to list that special word in the comments below. So if you missed it, go back and watch the video and find the word. The uh, challenge is known for the holidays and shawnee at glitzy stitches home diy is the host and the other host is connie's creative creations and there is also a playlist listed in the description box below of all the other ladies that are and gentlemen that are participating in the challenge so go check out that playlist because you don't want to miss out on these. There's some awesome crafters out there. Now here's all the other places you can find us on social media. And here is the final reveal. Don't forget to list that special word in the comments below to win. Have a chance to win, I should say. And here is our little gnomies. y'all we're back from the craft desk and these little items turned out so cute now don't forget to comment that word in the comment section below so you have a chance to win a gift and i'd like to thank our host and also all the ladies on the playlist that are participating because they're doing some awesome crafts out there you guys if you're not subscribed subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the yeah, the things we do here at the Crafty Arch. Because <laughs> we're always doing something fun and always trying new things. So we'll see you in the next video. We love you bunches. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>